negative 4. So the first line is what's going to show up to the very far left. The second one is going to show up where? In the middle. In the middle. And the third one's going to show up? To the right. On the right. Okay? So that's the first thing we need to get straight in our heads. Where are the walls and where does each one fit in? Then I want you to take them and write the three equations over the spot where they go. Okay? This one goes all the way to the left, so I write it as what? Y, y equals one Very good. <coughs> y equals one half x plus one over the very far left. Tyler, you're not taking notes, you're just sitting there staring. Come on. The center one, you should be writing down what I'm telling you to do. The center one goes in the center, and you're gonna write it as what? Y equals, y equals four. Write it over that spot. That way you know exactly what to graph in that spot. And then the last one, all the way to right, you're going to write what? Y equals 2x minus 3. Okay? So you've created your walls. You've identified where each line is supposed to go. And now you've actually written them in Y equals mx plus b form. Okay? All right. My walls are at negative 4. And positive 4. Okay. This line goes here. This line goes here. And this line goes here. Now, let's do this. When I get to the end of this, am I going to have a closed or an open circle on the wall? Oh, oh. Closed circle. All right, so I'm going to actually do this. Okay, on this side, these two sides, on the very far left side of the wall, I'm going to have an open circle, and then I'm going to have a closed circle. So this is just a little note to show myself what to do. And then the one over there, I'm going to have an open. open circle. Okay, so all of this is just information. This is information that I need to know before I ever start graphing. Does this make sense to everybody so far? Okay, now let's start on this line. Where does it cross the y-axis? At positive 1, so I'm going to imagine it crossing the line here, and its slope is what? Up 1, up one and over 2, okay? So it would be up 1 over, it would be here. Okay, so I'm going to imagine myself drawing the line. Draw, 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 but I'm not really drawing because I don't want it to show up yet. So I'm pretending that I'm drawing this line, and then when I get to this point, what kind of circle do I have? Closed. No. Yeah, sorry. A closed circle, and my line continues to go. Does that make sense? Yeah. Ian. I just <laughs> Your graph may not be right. Okay, but let's look. Um, okay, here, y is equal to what? Four. Okay, let's use another color. One, two, three, four. What does that mean, y is equal to four? What kind of line is that? A horizontal line going through four. Okay, on this side, what do I have? Open circle. It goes through four, and then when I get to the wall, I have a closed circle. All right, now I'm going to look at my third line. Where does it cross the y-axis? At negative three. All right, so we've got one two, three. Has a slope of? Two over one. Up two and over one. All right, so I imagine my line, I imagine my line, I imagine, it's not there, it's right here. Oh, 
and it picks up and continues to go. What? The way in the middle is always on top? Not always. Not always. You just got to go with whatever you have. It just so happened in these they were horizontal. Okay? You may have horizontal here, this, and then horizontal here. Okay? <laughs> is it making better sense now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I told you my color. Woo! Okay. Tonight for homework, all I want you to do Take it back. That's not all I want you to do. I want you to get more than two problems because you got to practice this. Three problems. Isn't there some in the back of the book? Yeah, but there's no answers. Like, you can't check yourself. And I want you to be able to check yourself. You can check it for us tomorrow. I think we will. I think that's what we're going to do. you to do number 39 and 41 on page 94. I want you to go to section 2.6 and work every problem that is a piecewise function. Because it says f of x equals, and it's got this, and it's got the different things, and if this, okay, so and if this, so and if this. There's only two? Okay, we'll work those two. Page 12. The answer. 